A good to know of Shabbos, my dear friends. This week, Parshas Achrei and Kedoshim. The Rebbe tells us that there is a beautiful lesson in this week's Parsha, and he says that every Jew belongs in the Holy of Holies, Kodesh HaKadoshim. The story of the beginning of the portion talks about the sons of Aaron who went into the Holy of Holies, but they died because they were not allowed to go in there. And the Torah then instructs Aaron the Kohen, and he tells them, Al do not come in just any time into the Holy of Holies. And he gives the conditions, the laws of Yom Kippur, when he's allowed to go in. But there is an interesting Medrash that says, that the Torah says, Bezois Yavai, with this, with this condition, the, whole, the holy high priest can come into the Holy of Holies anytime. Says the Rebbe, what is the message to us? The Torah says, Atem tiyuli mamleches koyenim. You should be upon me a king, a kingdom of priests. The Bala Turim says, Koanim gedolim. Every Jew has the power to be like a Kohen Gadol. The holiness of the Neshama. When Mashiach will come, it will be revealed. But potentially we have it now also. The holiness of Kodesh HaKadoshim. And indeed, in the history, we did have a story that it says in the book of Kings, the story of Yoash, when he was a little boy and his life was in danger. And his aunt, Yersheva, took him and hid him in the Holy of Holies. And he was there for six years. He ate, he drank in the Holy of Holies. Which means that in a time of danger, it was revealed where does a Jew really belong? And that's what the Rebbe says, that every Jew belongs in that place. We need to strive to want to be connected with Hashem, like in the Holy of Holies. So what does it mean to me and you? In simple terms, there was a gentleman that approached me yesterday. I invited him to come to join the classes of the laws of Shabbat. And he tells me yesterday that he came to the class and it was like, not for him, talking about so many details of Shabbat and what is allowed, what is not allowed. He says, I am not keeping Shabbat. And uh, he's, he needs the basics. So I told him a story that I told this past Tuesday about my daughter-in-law's grandfather, Rabbi Meir Aftson. He came from Ukraine. He came to America in 1952. And he was hired as a teacher. And a Hebrew school teacher. First day, what does he do? What does he teach? He teaches the children. When you wake up in the morning, first thing you say, Mudeani, you wash your hands, you get dressed, then you put on your shoes. You put on your shoes, you put on the right shoe first, and then the left shoe. And then you tie the left shoe first, and then the right shoe. Everything Hashem, God has instructions for every part of our life. And that's what he taught the children. One of the boys comes home, the father asks him, what did you learn in school today? And he says, the teacher taught us how to tie your shoes. And the father was furious, and he said, this teacher has to be fired. And he was, he had money, and his suggestion was basically an instruction, and the teacher was fired. Rabbi Aftson was fired after the first day. Many years went by, and one day, Guy shows up by Rabbi Aftson with a lot of money and he says, I owe you an apology and I owe you a debt of, uh, of gratitude. And he says, What are you talking about? He says, You remember the child that got you fired on the first day? He says, oh, That's my son. And he told him that his son grew up and he went off the Jewish way. He found a non Jewish girl and he decided to get married. And on the day of the wedding, he broke off the wedding. And he came to the father. The father asked, of course, he was happy that he's not marrying a non-Jewish girl. And the father asked him, what happened? So he says to him, when he got dressed and he went to tie his shoes, he went to tie the left shoe first and then the right shoe. And then he remembered this was he was taught in the Hebrew school. So he said to himself, what am I doing? What am I doing going marrying a non-Jewish woman? And he dropped everything. And I told this person, this gentleman, you see, 
even a small thing, a small mitzvah, something which is such a small, tri- seems a trivial thing. Tie the left shoe, the right shoe. You learn the small details, even though it seems like it's not important for you, but it's part of the Torah. Every little mitzvah, every halacha that you do, is Kodesh Kodoshim, is the Holy of Holies. And when you teach this to your child, and you teach this to yourself, you're connected with the Holy of Holies, you live in the Holy of Holies, ultimately, it will be revealed that all of us will be in the base of Migdash with the coming of Mashiach in the Holy of Holies. Have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbos.